Hi guys and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For our final day in Krakow, we met up with the best pierogi maker in Poland, Karina, aka Krakow Girl. Karina teaches us how to make savory and sweet pierogies in her historical apartment in the Jewish neighborhood Kashmiras. We know adventures We're in Karina's house and me and Lee are the only two in this class so we've got her all to ourselves and her apartment's amazing and we've just been given some lovely buns and she's making us some tea. While we settle in and enjoy our tea, Karina tells us all about the history of her apartment. To cut a long story short, the building she lives in was owned by a Jewish man who survived the war in Krakow and he is now over 100 years old. She had the honour of interviewing him about his experience and his family and she is currently working on a documentary all about his life and this building. To book this experience and to learn more about the documentary, hit her up on Instagram and tell her I sent you. We will start from making the dough because uh, my grandma would always tell me you have to be like stress-free when you cook. Okay. You, know? you want to be in a good mood because she was always telling me that if you're in a bad mood when you cook, you put it into this bad energy into yeah. your dough. Especially when you form the dough, you put a lot of your your energy into yeah. it. And uh, she would always say, "I don't want to eat your problems." Okay. So <laughs> don't put. I love this line. It's like a. It's kind of like a meditation, but Polish style. You know, explain. <laughs> I don't want to eat your problems, okay? For dough we have flour and um, and we will add a little bit of salt and you probably know that we have a salt mine in Krakow. Yes. I've been, yeah. You've been? Yes? yes. Ago, yeah. Ah. Yeah. This is very, very important for Krakow history and now we can add it to the flour. So like a pinch of uh, salt, okay? So now get the water. And first, cheers, yes, for good pierogi. <laughs> cheers for the pierogi. Cheers. 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 And if you can pour it to where the butter is, okay? And then we can mix the butter uh, a little bit with the, with the water. And we will start adding it and uh, with the pierogi dough you don't want to be too hard on it. You don't want to make it as a stone. But the first step is uh, to glue it all together, yes? Okay. So it comes in one piece and you can start, we can start kneading it on the table. So now we just give it a little bit more power and try all the ingredients to come smoothly together. After forming balls of dough, we pop them on a chopping board and cover them with a wet tea towel, leaving them to rest. Karina throws on some traditional Polish music to keep the dough happy, while myself and Lee get working on the fillings for the pierogies. Polish experience, uh, um, ingredients and a lovely Polish lady. What 
is not to like about this class. I honestly wasn't even that hungry, but I find myself having like 12, 12 to 20 of these. <laughs> wow, did we do on camera? I like yes. did, did we do you proud? Can you, <laughs> can you pass? Well, yes, which you know, the first thing is that uh, the uh, exam is boiling. Mm -hmm. So if they survive the boiling, that means that they were we made got an ball, yes. <laughs> you passed uh, the boiling exam, yes. And I have a pierogi stuff. Pierogi stuff. Legit. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Congratulations! Thank you very much. Woohoo! Well done, Lee! You got the official pierogi You can add it to your resume, you know. Thank you! Yeah. Thank you. you know. Maybe we'll meet someone one day. Yeah. We shall frame this. Yes. Thank you! Thank you very much for having us. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you for having us. Pierogi Masters. Yes, pierogi Masters. There you go. Bye. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. All right, guys. Sorry, this lens is so zoomed in. I need to get a different one. But that was a pierogi experience. I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. If you're coming to crack off, you have to Instagram me so I can put you on to Karina because she is an absolute lady and she's an amazing chef. And I think we may have developed a pierogi addiction. <laughs> we are going to meet our friend EJ and go for some drinks by the water. <laughs> See you there. Things are better when you're with me. I feel right when you're around After some drinks and a lovely catch up with EJ, we unfortunately had to pack up our stuff and head for the airport. All right guys, that is the end of our time in Poland, unfortunately. We'd love to stay longer, but I want to give a big shout out and thank you to everybody who made this trip so memorable. So shout out to Milos and EJ who saved my phone and came on another trip with us. And thank you so much to Emilka, the vodka queen, to all the gang on the tour, to Natalie, to Fred, to Gian, to Manfredo, to Andresa and to Connor. And I also want to give a shout out to Karina today with the Polish dumplings. We are still so full, so thank you so much for that if you enjoyed this video guys i just want to say a big thank you for taking the time to watch it i hope i'll see you in the next one until then take care look after yourselves goodbye and good luck Mwah. i like the way you